And if you're not going to broadcast it now, next week. So I, I can talk about the surprise. Yeah. I All right, think so. so you promise me? Yeah, yeah. I already did. Because it will not be out <laughs> no, no. before the 11th. Nope. No, no, no. We are On building, the 11th. We are building, we are opening a new thing. Good morning, welcome to this video and to the second day, well, technically the third day, but the second day we're riding here in Istria and Croatia. Yesterday we did 100Ks, today we will probably do 100Ks again. We're riding with the team, hopefully again, 50Ks to the restaurant, 50K back. Back. That's it. We'll be alone, I think, again. No. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We're pretty nice tired. weather again, a little yeah. bit warmer than yesterday, but I think uh, max 10 degrees today. But as soon as you're in the sun, it feels pretty yeah. warm. And today we ride with more riders, I hope so. Yeah, so maybe we can also speak to a little bit more riders from the team. And I was thinking maybe we could talk to Sadok, the team communication guy, to give a little bit more background of the team, because it's called Israel Cycling Academy. So we are wondering about the academy part, because we've seen mm -hmm. the pro team, they are pretty much like any other pro team, except for that they have a lot of nationalities in it. Three Israeli guys, yeah. US, Canada, European Germans, guys. Germans, French German, guy, yeah. Belgian guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, but we are really wondering about uh, what it means for Israel, yeah. the, the, the team and the, and the cycling club. So we'll ask him about that. All right, let's see if we can find the team. Yes, perfect. Stop. First coffee stop after 200 meters. <laughs> so the ride is postponed by half an hour, which gives us some time for some more coffee. Put a small shot in it with me. Hmm? Small alcohol, major. A shot. Mikey. To warming up. <laughs> Becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> Inspired by my lifestyle. <laughs> Three days with you and I <laughs> drink more beer than water. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so Schoss, Dutch guy, <laughs> what are you up to in here? Well, I'm the only Dutch one in the whole team, including all the staff this yeah. year for Israel Cycling Academy. And what's your role in the team? Um, I'm the press officer, working with all the journalists, all the media, all the sponsors, uh -huh. joining the races, uh, making videos as well, just like you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you hanging out of the car yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that was me. <laughs> um, trying to get some footage in and uh, yeah. it's my second day within exactly. the team. <laughs> I just started. And you're a cyclist as well, I think? Yeah, well... Um, I would say three to two years ago, I had quite some ambitions as a cyclist. Yeah. I wasn't good enough. I mean, I did a lot of international races. Um, didn't make it to professional level, uh -huh. not even to continental level. <laughs> so I quite failed in that part. But now I'm on the professional team, yeah. not as a cyclist, but as a press officer. Oh, exactly. It's getting as close as good as being a professional, I yeah. would say. Sounds pretty cool. I'm happy with the job, yeah. surely. Yeah. I have one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me your bike. Yeah. Are you excited to be on this team? Yeah, yeah, very exciting because uh, yeah, it's now it's my five year. Yeah. In professional, I was four years in the same team mm -hmm. in Cofidis, and I think I need to have change because uh, when it's yeah, I'm a man. I think I have uh, I need to have a lot of change in my life yeah, because yeah. Uh, then I I. To keep I, it. Yeah. Keep some motivation. Then after I, yeah. I have me in my seat and <laughs> I'm in my seat and I yeah. don't uh, it's too comfortable. I don't move in my seat. <laughs> yeah. Then so it's is good. Is a role change here anyway? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, normally it's for the classic and also for the sprint. In Cofidis I was good in the very good in the classic, Belgian classic and also for the sprint. It depends which level also it's for sure it's uh, for two years I was very good in the French Cup because I win the French Cup and a lot of good place in the, the sprints and last year I was good place in the World Tour but it's also difficult to, to go very good in the big level in the World Tour. For yeah. sure. I think now it's, it's very low. better. Ah, very good. Okay, 
over 20k in. Drop the fast guys again. <laughs> we are too strong. No. And it's uh, more time. <laughs> was, it, was it easy 20 kilometers? But now we go. Uh, we go to the restaurant. To the restaurant. We do another loop. But it was nice to be with the, pretty much the entire team. Yeah. But always with a big group like that. A bit dangerous. Dangerous holes yeah. in the road. The things like that. The pace is low. People. Also the journalists taking videos with GoPro. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. yeah now 8% climb nice and again it's so quiet here yeah. five cars today this is a big road they say yeah but this a main road it's three meters wide yeah four maybe I see that it's uh, climbing all the way to the hotel to the restaurant uh, restaurant yeah and then eat three kilos of pasta yeah. and then all the way down heavy bay back <laughs> Really dirty lens. Uh, we made it to the lunch stop and we got lucky again. Yeah? <laughs> with, with this, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Was it good today? Really nice again. Yeah. The, the castle was good. Yeah, the airplane. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really yeah, yeah. nice. Ooh, looking good again. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch in the belly. We are with two again. A few too many wines in the belly. More wines than ours. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are straight back into a climb. 25 k's left. Mm, I think go. so, yeah. Long day sitting, but not in the saddle. Two hour lunch. I think that's perfect. I think, uh, if you spend the, the same amount of time eating and drinking as the time you spend in the saddle, yeah. perfect equation. Uh, we are riding back, the rest was with the car. Yeah. Cyclocross shortcut. <laughs> Saves so much time. Yeah. Where are in Ali? Lift, 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 lift. Good morning, it's day three of our stay in Croatia with the Israel Cycling Academy and we are going out for a ride, but we found some time, a little bit of time, with probably the busiest man at this uh, training camp. <laughs> We've seen the team now, it's really cool, super international bunch, and really open and friendly. It's something that goes along from the team, this is a thread that started in the team from the beginning. Even from the beginning, when we started the team, there were international young riders. Young riders from all over the world from the beginning and with the Israelis because we never had enough talent mm -hmm. to have only Israelis. Like. Yeah. So it became something that is part of the DNA of the team. To be open to all, to, to let everybody come to the team, help the Israelis, but not only, but for us, this is a simple way to show that we can do it together. Yeah. It doesn't matter what your religion or exactly. whatever you do. It's so diverse mm -hmm. 
and it works. Yeah. That's the the interesting th uh, thing about it. It works. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And the and the team is basically that's what I got an inspiration for kids in Israel to join the academy basically yeah, to, yeah. to see that that that's maybe not the end goal but that's what you can accomplish. That for the, from day one the vision was yeah. why do we talk we we spoke about the Tour de France so much it will inspire so many people all together uh, our Tour de France was the Giro in Israel when Sylvan Adams came to the team and was ready to. To invest and, and bring the Jew to Israel, that was the turning point in Israel. When people, hundreds of people, thousands of people went to the street, it was the first time that most of Israel heard about cycling yeah. as a sport. Yeah. And it does change. Israel is changing because of academy. Mm -hmm. What we see is more and more kids turning into cycling as a more serious sport. Yeah. And that's our model. Yeah. So many guys will start cycling and we are building schools in Israel. Right now there are already 12 uh, Israel Cycling Academy schools all over the country mm -hmm. and uh, I think that it will only grow. Yeah, it would be cool to see one of those. What's your biggest goal for this year? Well, frankly, I think it's going to be a very, very tough year. We are very realistic. Of course, we have some great talents, but on the other hand, we have some inexperienced kids, a lot of them, the Israelis, the others. But I think that we can do, will surprise some people along this year. So and, and learn a lot. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. And learn a lot. Yeah. How many guys do you have on the team? Uh, 30. 30. Uh, yeah. 30 guys we had last year. And if you're not going to broadcast it now. Next week. So I, I can talk about the surprise. Yeah. I, I think so. Do you promise me? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We are building, we are opening a new team. What kind of team? <laughs> Continental team. We are going to announce in the 11th, and it's not, it's off the record, yeah. but you can use it after the 11th. Yeah. We're announcing that we are uh, opening a new team, a sort of junior team. team, which uh, consists of uh, young riders, uh, from I half of them from Israel. Uh, all the young uh, riders that are coming about, we want them to knock on our doors. Yeah. So we need to give them races. World Tour is too much for them, so we are going to give them a stage, a chance to race. In other, mm -hmm. uh, in smaller races, and that's why we are basically launching a new Devo under 23, whatever you call it, it's going to be the, the new team that will race next year, Israel Cycling Academy. Awesome. Devo. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. Filling the gap between the academy and the pro team, yeah. perfect uh, solution in the middle yeah. of the film, continental team, yeah. yeah. That's uh, natural, yeah. naturally we need to do that. Well. Thanks again for inviting us. We had a really good time. Great. And uh, we're definitely going to stay in touch with the, with the team. Yeah, I hope. Come. And yeah. we want you to come over and visit us during the year and follow us and uh, the great moments and the tough moments. Yeah. We are cool. All right. We're going for a short ride and then back to home. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Nice, Sarah. It's a beautiful uh, coastline. Also, more beautiful in summer, I think. Not as uh, really hot, beaches, but uh, for all the models, we can shoot here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye now.